University. We have uh, the retiring head coach of Spring Arbor University Tennis, Terry Darling, and his son, the uh, head tennis coach at SAU, David Darling. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. So we say uh, retiring, uh, not really. Terry is just retiring from the uh, men's coaching job. Correct. Correct. Yep. So you're still? Still teaching full time, and I'm now David's assistant. So not just being a, a father-son uh, duo at Spring Arbor, you're actually, I think, the third generation, David, of Darlings at SAU? Yes. So my uh, grandpa taught in the psychology department as well, and as my dad has done that for the last over 40 years, and so I'm the third generation Darling to work at Spring Arbor, so it's a pretty cool honor. That is neat. So did your dad, was he involved in tennis? Yeah, so he taught me how to play originally. Okay and uh, just kind of helped develop that love. And then he became kind of our super fan. So when David, all through high school, and our, his brother, and then when they came to Spring Arbor, they, my dad was, was at everything, you know? So yeah, he was fully supportive of all that we did. Well, you've got um, quite the record as a tennis player, uh, the years you played at, mm -hmm. at Spring Arbor. You're the winningest Spring Arbor tennis player in history. Yes, that is, that is correct. That's pretty cool. Yeah. No, I, I don't, I often don't mention that. I think it's, I'm not a huge, I don't try to boast about the stuff that I've accomplished, but I'm, I am really proud of that, of that accomplishment for myself. Um, I think due to like my dad's help as a coach and as a mentor, there was a lot of things that I was able to accomplish as a player. You know, I, I didn't miss a lot of matches due to injury. I took care of my body. I, um, I just loved the sport, and I still do. And I attest that to my dad's coaching and his ability to instill just like a passion for tennis. And that's the reason I coach today. A lot of young athletes burn out of their sport, and I then I think I was given opportunities to play multiple sports and just have a passion still for playing and teaching tennis. So Der Terry, you didn't put a tennis racket in his hand when he was three years old <laughs> and said, you're gonna be a tennis player like your dad. You know, I had a, a wise uh, parent of some pretty skilled tennis players. who said, you always wanna quit before your kid wants to. So, so he said, the problem with parents who want their kids to be really good is they make, okay, you hit me five more good shots and I'll let you stop. He said, that's the wrong way to do it. Stop before they want to. And so I, I tried to do that and, and I think it worked pretty well. And he also, David had the right temperament for the game too and that helped a lot as well. Yeah, so um, it's not the John McEnroe uh, temperament. <laughs> no, <but> no. <laughs> no, absolutely not. No, no. And you, you shared in, in the modesty as well because you've, you've been honored, you're in the Hall of Fame and yeah. you've got uh, quite a great record yourself. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so I, I went in as a coach. My, the Hall of Fame at Spring Arbor was as a coach, not as a player, but I did play for four years at Spring Arbor and we had some really good teams that I got to be a part of as well. A couple of trips to the national championships. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Brought along some photos. We'll take a look. Absolutely. And is it true that tennis keeps you looking young? <laughs> I think it helps. I don't know if it's a if it's a surefire thing, but it definitely helps. Yeah, I, I know you guys get this a lot. Um, David looks like he's 18. Yes. We, you know, we've, absolutely. We've joked about this yes. before, but he's actually 31. Yes. <laughs> just just turned 31. All right. So this is the uh, the Prism League. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Huh. So there's a few giveaways. This picture's a bit old. Some of the wooden rackets you see there uh, is one of the giveaways. And I'm not sure color had been invented yet for pictures. Huh. But yeah, this is the team I was on back in the day um, with, with some of my good buddies. And I want to give a shout out to Coach Carey. He started the tennis program at Spring Arbor. And now David is, and now 55 plus years later, David is only the third coach that we've had of the men's program, which wow. is... I think a pretty cool thing too. And he, he helped all of us uh, in terms of our games as well as, as passion for the sport, as well as just a wonderful role model as a- All right, Terry, which man. kid are you in this picture? So I'm, I'm the one kind of in the middle on the top up there with, oh, with okay. the out of control hair, though all of us seem to <laughs> be out of control a little bit there. But yeah, that's, that's me in the middle of the top row. Uh, a lot of your coaches have been um, there a long time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So the reason that, that I wanted this picture on here is just that 
it's just it's in the it's in the yearbook and it's listing the people on the tennis team and it just puts my wife in there because she's been so supportive coaching 42 years with a spouse that wasn't supportive would be almost impossible so i just find it funny that they name her as one of the <laughs> named people on our team because she's down there making thousands of meals over the years for the team so i wanted to give her a shout out for her role all those years every team needs a tennis mom <laughs> absolutely exactly. yeah and this is just kind of our kids so you can see uh, david and michael david's younger brother is two years younger than him and we're down in hilton head island where we went every year and they were incorporated into that and the teams were always just really good to these guys making them feel you know uh, welcomed and loved and so uh, i just wanted to give that sense too that they were integrated too through all those years and i think that makes it easier for david now to do the same thing yeah. with with his family and and uh, I just, I just love this, this memory. This was one of the teams that did go to nationals, um, but they, they, uh, they loved my kids too. Does Michael is he in tennis? Yes. So he, he, we overlapped. He's two years younger than me, so we were on the same team for two years. Mm -hmm. He actually, he has the wins record at the high school, at Western High School mm -hmm. here, just down the road. So he, he was a very good tennis player as well, and we had the, the, I had the privilege of overlapping with him for two years, which was really neat. Cool. And this, there they are. So there's David and his brother. His brother is, is uh, to his left. So that's, that's Michael right next to him. And that's the first team in a long time that had made it to nationals, to NAI nationals. And so I wanted to, to, to put these guys up here because that was a really special year as well, that they, they were able to, to kind of get over that, that uh, finish line to get us to NAI nationals. And I, I think the next picture um, is a picture I want David to talk about. So my junior year, this was um, the first year that we had, that I had gone to the NAI Nationals. And for Spring Arbor, there were two levels of Nationals. There were the NCCAA, the National mm -hmm. Christian College Athletic Association Nationals, and then the NAIA, which is, the, um, is our governing body, really, as like a conference and as a whole. And the NAIA National Tournament was more, is more prestigious to get to. And right. so we, this was the clinching point to get to nationals and this was one of my favorite photos of myself of all time all of our whole team was watching the point that i won clinched our team's birth to the nai national championship and i remember someone a, a comment on this post saying this is the most epic picture on facebook right now and so <laughs> it was funny just seeing everyone the majority of the people in the audience here are not tennis players they're just people from the campus students that knew me and knew our team that were just as pumped as the players on the team. So that was really, really, that's a really cool memory for me to have pictures just that's the first time getting awesome there. Awesome shot. Yeah, really cool. And then this one is uh, the, the, the tournament that we qualified for NAIA Nationals. We'd also qualified for the Christian College Nationals, and they were both played down in Mobile, Alabama. And so we just moved down there for a couple of weeks to, to participate in both of these tournaments. And this this one, we were runners up in the, in, in the NCCAA National Tournament that year, and David's just getting his All-American uh, certificate at that point in that picture. Um, this is actually me coaching Michael, um, David's brother. Uh, he, after David graduated, Michael did become the number one player his senior year, so, so I wanted to give Michael a shout out as well here because he had a, a great career just, just uh, David had just, you know, an even better one, but they both were highly, highly skilled tennis players. Were you both singles players? We both played both. In high school, we were both singles players, but then in college, you had the opportunity to play both. Mm -hmm. And so both of us played both singles and doubles. On the same doubles We never team? played doubles together, sadly, but we were both doubles players with different partners. Yeah, but never together. And I, I still am a little bummed about that, but <laughs> that's how it goes. This, um, this is a picture of when we, one of the times we all got back together, we do a, uh, like this might have been the, kind of the initiation of the, or what was this was for yeah, the? I think this is when we dedicated the facility. So this is our current facility at Spring Arbor University. It's the, called the Jones Tennis Complex. And in the background you can actually see, I can see that's Marvel, I think Ron Jones. They're the, uh, the benefactors, the, they're an incredibly generous uh, couple that donated this facility. We. Uh, they're members of the country club and historically a lot of Spring Arbor University tennis players have been the head pros 
at the Country Club of Jackson over the summer. Including you. Including myself. And so they had lots of opportunities to get to know Spring Arbor University tennis players through their time at the Country Club. And while I was in Atlanta, which I uh, moved to Atlanta a few years after, or right after I graduated and was there for a few years, um, because of all of the people that they had talked to and gotten to know from Spring Arbor, they decided to, to make a, a very substantial donation to the university in the name of tennis. And so we still, it makes our job as recruiters and, um, and just, we're so blessed to have this, but it makes our job just easier with a facility as beautiful as, as theirs. So just, we're continuously grateful and thankful for them as benefactors. Yeah, beautiful facility, eight, eight courts now. Eight courts, yes. yep. And here, the, uh, the retirement. Yeah, just so from coaching, though. Yeah, yeah, just from coaching. Yeah. So we had some players. These are these weren't all the people there, but these were all the players that were there at the, at that reception they had for me, and it was a a wonderful uh, surprise and day to have all these guys from you know from 42 years uh, come wow. back. It was it's just it was just a, a real gift to see see uh, all these great great guys with great memories with all of them. Yeah, we had over 50 50 people come back, which was really neat. All right, so there's another generation coming up. <laughs> there is. There he is. So this one, I just want to give a shout out to Todd Dobbin, who's been my assistant coach for 27 years. Um, he, uh, this is the Masters of Grass tournament that he uh, sponsored for many years at his, at his home. And, this, uh, that's, and then the, the, the little person there, I think there's one, one last picture here with this. David can tell the story of this little person. So this is my son. This is Liam. And we felt like it was only fitting for him to learn how to play tennis on the Spring Arbor University <laughs> tennis courts. It would be absurd to go anywhere else. So he is loving it. I'm trying to do a lot of the same stuff that my dad did for me when, when coaching me and just he'll be out there and we'll be playing. We'll play for 20 minutes and he'll be like, Dad, I'd love to do some more. And I'll say, we'll, we'll do it next time. Like, we'll, we'll do it next time. And he'll get all upset about it and he'll be <laughs> bummed. But it's something that I've learned, and one of the reasons I feel like I still love the game is because I was never forced to play it when I didn't want to. Well, he certainly looks like you, especially the hair. He does. The hair, the hair <laughs> it's, a, it's a sure thing, so I'm really, really blessed. All right, uh, what's the upcoming, because you are men's and women's Correct. head coach now. Correct. Uh, what, what's the next uh, year look like? So we have, um, we're in our preseason period right now. We have a few more days until, just over a week, until our first matches of the fall. Uh, the women open up on September 2nd, which is a Friday, down in Kokomo, Indiana. And the men and women, men open up on the, the next day on Saturday the 3rd, and the women as well, both down in Fort Wayne. And that is kind of the kickoff of our conference season for the fall. So I'm excited for the year. We have a great group. Um, but I'm blessed to have great coaches in, on, on both the men's and the women's side. And, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to do both if I didn't have people to support me on both sides. And so it's, it's just been really, really nice. Well, I think you're back where you belong, David. Uh, when you moved to Atlanta, I thought, what? <laughs> <laughs> Did yeah. you, you too, Terry? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Full agreement. But, well, yeah. Great to have you here. Yes. Congratulations on your retirement, Thank you. Terry. Thank you. And uh, congratulations on uh, your appointment. Thank you. And continued uh, best wishes to the Darling family. Awesome. Thank you, Bart. Uh, as we celebrate 150 years yes. of Spring Arbor University, two of the, uh, one of the big legendary families of SAU, the Darlings, thanks to Terry Darling and David Darling. Uh, more to come on JT.